Hi there, welcome. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to create this flyer. And also know that I will have a link to the template in the description below so you can download and use it as you deem fit. If you're ready, let's begin. So the first thing we are going to do, we are going to create a new canvas of which we are going to create our flyer. So I'm going to go to file and then click on new and, and I'm going to change pixels to inches and I'm going to have my width as 20 and my height will also be 20. I'm going to keep my resolution at 120 and I'm going to click on create. So as you can see, this is the canvas we have to work with. So the first thing we're going to do is to create our background of which we are going to add our text and our subject. So what we are going to do is bring in this image. I'm going to drag it into our working file and then I'm going to release. I'm going to move it all the way up to the top and I'm going to press Control T to transform and I'm going to hold down my shift and I'm going to scale this. I'm going to zoom out a little and I'm going to keep scaling. So now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and close this background. We're going to go for the next background, which is this one. So I'm going to drag this into our working file and I'm going to center it. And I'm going to press Control T to transform. And I'm going to scale it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use my eraser and I'm going to increase my brush head and keep my hardness at soft. So I'm going to erase just a portion of our image. And then what I'm going to do next, I'm going to bring in the third image. I'm going to click on my move and I'm going to drag it into our working file. And I'm going to reduce the opacity on this. So the next thing we're going to do is to add a gradient effect. So to do that, I'm going to click on my adjustment layers and I'm going to choose gradient and we are going to change the gradient color. I'm going to choose a purple and I'm also going to change the other end. And I'm going to choose a similar color. And I'm going to click OK. So with this set, we're going to go ahead and begin typing in our text. And I'm going to press Control T to transform. And I'm just going to scale it. I'm going to add a shadow. So I'm going to right click on my image, go to blending options. And I'm going to add a drop shadow. And I'm going to click OK. So the next thing we're going to do is just keep adding layers and layers of different elements. In this case, just text. So I'm going to add another text. I'm going to double click and I'm going to add a red background and I'm just going to create a new layer and I'm just going to use my bucket to paint that in and I'm going to move it below my text so the text shows up. I'm going to press Ctrl D to deselect. And what I'm going to do before I move further, I'm going to select all of these three and I'm going to move it up just a little, just like that. I'm going to scale it by pressing Control T. I'm going to move it up a little to line up. I'm going to type in the word, actually going to make a copy of this text which it's which says live and I'm going to 
change the text. I'm going to leave a space and I'm going to scale by pressing Control T. And I'm going to go to the other elements that I have. I'm going to close this since I'm not using it anymore. And I'm going to close this as well. So I'm going to click on this text, which is the zoom, and I'm going to bring it into my working file. And I'm going to delete and only keep the logo. So to do that, I'm going to basically, I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to, I'm going to crop around this festival. Right click, I'm going to make a copy and I'm going to delete this one. And I'm going to use my magic one. And I'm just going to make a selection, right click and make a copy. And as you can see, I just made a copy of my logo and I'm going to bring that in here. I'm going to control T transform and I'm going to scale it to fit in between. So it acts as the other zero. So as you can see, we are fairly close to completing our tutorial. I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to rescale it. It looks a little bit too big and I'm going to center it. I'm going to double click. And before we move on, I want to bring in our subject. So I'm going to click on our subjects layer. And I'm going to drag our subject into our working file. And I'm going to move our subject below our text. I'm going to reposition it, reposition him. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to image adjustment and I'm going to choose brightness. And I'm just going to brighten the image so it blends in with our flyer. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to zoom in and we're going to pick our eraser tool and we are just going to reduce our brush head just a little and we're going to erase a bit of our subject. And I think I like the way it looks so far and we are going to continue bringing in different elements. So I'm going to bring in this I'm going to select this element. I'm going to bring that in. I'm going to leave it right there. And I'm going to type in my um, information. So far, so good. We basically have two things to add, just the, the date and the logo. And that basically ends our tutorial. So let's finish it off by adding these two elements. So I'm going to click on this text that we already have. I'm going to create a duplicate. I'm going to move it all the way down. And I am going to click on that. I'm going to select everything else and I'm going to rescale. Still looks a little bit bigger. So the last thing we're going to do is to add our logo. I'm going to go back to my elements and I'm going to select my logo. I'm going to move it into our Wiccan file. I'm going to place it in this corner and I'm going to add the name of the church. So I'm just going to type that in. And I believe that we are done. I hope you found this tutorial very helpful. And remember, I do have a template 
in my description below so you can download it you can change the background change the color change the subject do whatever you want with this please like comment subscribe and also turn on the notification bell for all future uploads and as always thanks for watching i really do appreciate you taking the time to go through my tutorial bye